Good afternoon, our dignitaries, dear students. Warmly welcome to the Slim CPM Certified Professional Marketer Open Day Webinar. The Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing has been an apex body for Sri Lankan marketers since back in 1970, and it has been incorporated by an act of parliament in 1980. Slim, the marketing Mahagadara, is recognized as a national body for marketing and has authority to edify the marketing profession in Sri Lanka. So ladies and gentlemen, dear students, Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing conducted major events, programs, award ceremonies on a national scales. Slim People's Awards, Slim Digis, Leading Leo, and etc. The Certified Professional Marketer, Asia, is a formal endorsement of professional status for marketing professionals, those who have already attained both academic and practical knowledge of the marketing in the Asian region. This professional status is conferred by the Asia Marketing Federation, AMF, which consists of several Asian countries in the region. So ladies and gentlemen, CPM, 21st century's preferred postgraduate professional status. This gentleman is the vice president for education and research at Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. Thank you for being here with us. A warmly welcome Professor Devasiri Enjanta to convey welcome speech. Okay, so Professor, okay, you can hear. A perfect afternoon to all of you again. And a warm and heartfelt welcome to the open day of the highly anticipated yes, certified yes. professional marketer program offered by the STEAM Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing in collaboration with the Asia Marketing Federation. The Certified Professional Marketer Asia, that is the ultimate certification for marketing professionals who have already attained a competent academic and practical understanding of marketing in the Asian region. Today, we gather at a significant juncture to celebrate knowledge, aspiration, and the pursuit of excellence in marketing in our rapidly evolving business landscape. Marketing is essential for all professionals at, as it helps them promote their skills, products, or services, enabling them to reach a wide audience and achieving their career and business goals. Effective marketing that can differentiate professionals from their competitors establish their brand and build valuable client relationships, ultimately contributing to their success and growth. It is not merely a field of study. We can consider marketing as the cornerstone of success in today's competitive world. It is my distinct privilege to stand before you today and extend a gracious welcome to this momentous occasion. We are we not only embark on a learning journey, but also acknowledge the pivotal role that marketing plays in shape in the destiny of businesses. In our pursuit of knowledge, we are honored to have a remarkable individual whose insights and experience in sales and marketing in, are invaluable. With great pleasure, I warmly welcome Ms. Trishala Miriagal, Senior Business Analyst and Manager of HSBC Global Operations. Despite her demanding schedule, we are truly privileged that Ms. Trishala has graciously accepted our invitation to be the main speaker for today's session. Her willingness to share her wisdom with us on this weekend is a kind of a testament to her commitment to nurturing the future of marketing professionals and more specifically future marketing custodians. Our gratitude should extend to our dedicated faculty members, including the distinguished Mr. Rohan Somawansa, a senior lecturer at the Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. He is also served as an eminent past president of the Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing and also a past president of Asia Marketing Federation. His dedication to imparting knowledge and shape in the mindset of our learning partners, that is a kind of an inspiration to all of us. A special mention must also be made to our staff who have worked tirelessly to make this inauguration a reality. Let us express our heartfelt appreciation to Ms. Mihirini Fonseca, DGM, and her team, including Ms. Ashen, 
Ms. Hashani, manager of business school, including her staff, Ms. Mahesh Piris and all the staff who are representing the business school at Ketulat. In addition to that, I would like to appreciate the diligent efforts of the marketing team headed by Mr. Tivanta and also Ms. Sachindra and her team, the central operations headed by Ms. Indika and team southern operations headed by Ms. Sadeep. Your commitment to this event and the program success is commendable. Further, I would like to welcome the heart and soul of today's occasion, our esteemed learning partners. You who have chosen to embark on this journey of knowledge and growth by enrolling in the ultimate qualification for marketing professionals in South Asia and also in the South Asian region, hold the promise of a brighter future for yourself and in the industry. Your presence here today is a kind of a testament to your dedication and also thirst for the excellence. Dear learning partners, today I also see myself in you. Even though I'm currently serving as a professor in finance in Sri Lanka, I also started my career in sales and marketing. So my progress during the past 20 years is a kind of a testament to my commitment, trust, teamwork, dedication to my studies. So that you have chosen the right place, right product and right people to enrich your career and that I will be able to see you all as great leaders in the future in marketing domain. As we gather here to celebrate the beginning of this transformative academic journey, let us embrace the opportunities. Let us strive to cultivate a culture of innovation, critical thinking and ethical leadership within the sphere of marketing. Together we shall learn, evolve and contribute to growth of our industry understanding that marketing is the bedrock upon which businesses thrive and consumers connect. Last but certainly not least, I appreciate the support rendered by the CEO, the Council and the Executive Committee of the Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing in conducting this most sought after title qualification in marketing, which produces future ready marketing professionals for the nation and also for the Asia region. Once again, a warm welcome to every one of you. May today's proceedings inspire and empower us to reach new heights of success and knowledge. Thank you very much. I wish you all the very best. Well, thank you very much, Professor Devasiri and Janta, for the adding extraordinary value for the Certified Professional Marketer Open Day webinar, which gave us a super strength to move the session ahead. So, ladies and gentlemen, she is the Senior Business Analyst, HUB Manager at HSBC Global Operations, GSC Services. She completed her MBA in general at Southampton Solvon University, UK. It's good to see you here, madam, and great pleasure to join us today. Very good, good afternoon and warmly welcome, Ms. Trishala Miriagala for the guest speaker speech. Thank you, Dasun. I believe I am audible to everyone. Yes, ma'am, you're audible. Yeah. So Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and dear students. So I am deeply honored to be here today as your guest speaker, and I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity to share a few words with you all about my experience. So before I begin, I would like to take a moment to express my heartfelt appreciation to the entire lecture panel who was at my uh, Certified Professional Marketeer Program. Their unwavering dedication, tireless support, and wealth knowledge being instrumental in shaping my journey towards achieving this qualification. And first of all, I would like to congratulate all of you for getting selected for this program. And all of you all had made the right decision in selecting SLIM to get this qualification. First, to start with, uh, let me tell a little bit about me. Uh, actually, I was not into marketing initially because I start my banking career uh, 17 years back in 2007 as a contact center agent. So I did not have any hesitation just because I was a call center agent doing sales to start my first degree, the marketing and management degree. Uh, 
because sales is also part of living and without sales there is no marketing so that is how i began and now i'm very proud about myself uh, up to where i have come because i am in a different level in my career path right now serving international markets and it had been a roller coaster journey for me so let me share my thoughts about marketing and how it impacts to our life so as a mother uh, as a working mother who wears multiple hats i have come to appreciate the profound impact marketing has on both my personal and professional spheres marketing to me is not just a field of study or a career path it is a mindset and ethos that permeates every aspects of our life as a student i have learned that marketing is about understanding people understanding their needs desires and their aspirations and it is about empathy and connecting with others on a deeper level these skills are not only essential in the classroom but also in the journey of parenthood for me as well with my experience and as a working mother i have experience first hand balancing act of marketing and managing a career while raising a family so marketing has taught me the importance of prioritization time management and adaptability skills that are indispensable in both roles whether it's crafting a marketing strategy or your planning your family schedule the ability to juggle multiple priorities with grace and efficiency is crucial and let me tell you why marketing is a good career path because marketing is a good career path of the impact that it creates within the customer and the society not many functions can go out there and boast and say okay that we have made an influence over people and society but we as the forefront of making these changes in customers in some of our marketing models we say okay what are the existing customer behaviors what will be the desired customer behaviors and how to get there so we effectively as marketers what we do is we influence people we influence people's thinking so ladies and gentlemen that's the power marketing has so that is what as a marketer drive and we you will be in the central of the business operation because currently marketing is one of the key functions in an organization and which is a great place to be with good earning potentials as well also just to be a good marketer uh, just the experience wouldn't help you need to have a lot of learning so learning you can have in two ways the formal learning which you will gain with enrolling for this program with slim support and also the informal learning which has helped me to develop myself as a marketer and to where i am right now because you need to do a crazy amount of reading go through google go through researchers go and find the books the references so you can gain lot of knowledge about marketing so that uh, you will grow you will learn you will experience new thinking think differently to do things in a different way because that is what the marketers need to have and also you need to challenge yourself to think differently so when i started the certified professional marketer program i challenged myself i also need to be inspired and you need to motivate yourself so you need to inspire yourself and you need to motivate yourself to do things and i'm thankful to my entire lecture panel and my entire batchmates who was inspiring me throughout the class tenor because of not them i wouldn't have come up to this stage so without taking much time in conclusion as both 
a best student and a working mother. I believe that marketing is not just a profession. It is a way of life. It challenges us to think critically, empathize deeply as to inspire change. So ladies and gentlemen, let us embrace the opportunities that marketing presents both in the classroom and beyond, knowing that with difference, dedication, passion, we can truly make a difference in the world. So I wish all of you all the very best and good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Trishala Miregala, for your insightful words, which gave the inspiration for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, he was the president of the Asian Marketing Federation from 2018 to 20. Currently, he holds the post of advisor and member of the AMF Foundation, which is the supreme administrative body in AMF. He was selected as one of the best 50 marketing professionals by World CMO Council. Screened in Putrajaya, Malaysia in 2013, and he's the senior lecturer at SLIM. Of course, the past president at SLIM. Very good afternoon, sir. It's a great pleasure to be here with us. Very warmly welcome you to the CPM Certified Professional Marketer Open Open Day Webinar for the lecturer speech. Mr. Rohan Soman, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Hi, everyone, to all of you, and very good afternoon. And thank you very much, uh, Slim, for me to give this opportunity to talk about subject and talk about CPM related matters. Uh, Professor Devasiri and Mrs. Priscilla Miravella is very, I think I also got certain points from both of you to address in future. Uh, so thank you again. And when we talk about the CPM, CPM is not a strange uh, subject stream for the slim because we have been doing this stream for the last 15 to 20 years. So with that, AMF is owning this CPM. Asia Marketing Federation founded in 1991. And then 2007, it has restructured as Asian Marketing Federation. So, very much prestigious marketing of Singapore conducting all the exams and all the subject related matters for the CPA. So MIS is a education and research body for the Asia Marketing Federation. So because of their capabilities and the ability to do a lot of research and a lot of educational things, MF decided to hand over this important task to CPM, uh, MIS. So CPM also now with their hands. I'm proud to say that most of the graduates, so we have a, over 700 CPM graduates from Sri Lanka. So we have a very good recognition as a CPM community in all over the world. Now, Asia Marketing Federation, we have 20 countries, uh, powerful countries like Japan, China, Korea and all. So all the countries, especially China, they started CPM in China. So now Mongolia, China, even Korea, now they already started CPM because they understand the value of understanding customers in Asia. So I think I know that all the participants may have, some are reading for PhDs, most of you all have a master's, in addition to your other qualification. But this subject is very much different than what we studied in previous subjects in our curriculums. So why it is special? So CPM talk about two subjects in Sri Lanka because certain countries, the students must follow the four subjects, but for the Sri Lanka, because of our basic degrees and the basic postgraduate diplomas, all are high standard. So then we got prominence to do only two subjects for the participants. So one subject is Asia business. Another subject is Asia management. Asia management is a marketing uh, because how it's a case study based uh, questions. Normally the Asian uh, rising companies, uh, you, you, we have a organizations in Asia 
Asian organizations. So Jollibee is, is a Asian organization. Example. So Jollibee uh, is a country of origin is Philippine. They have challenged all the multinationals. They have challenged McDonald's. They have challenged KFC. KFC is six in Philippines, and their strategies are very much different. So that kind of a brand. So why they suck their success in their territory and other territories in the Asia. So because they understand the cultures and the social related factors very well in Asian customers. So the Asian customers are very much diverse. So in this CPM, we are very much focused on the different how we do business in different cultures and different social fabrics. So that is most important us to understand how we can do this. So one example is color preferences. Pakistan and India are very close countries, but Pakistan preferred green and India preferred yellow. So if our packaging content in green to India, that will be not much successful. So there are many such kind of uh, differences we can identify in the social and cultural related factors. So then this subject is 40% can contribute by the lecturers. Rest of the 60% managed by the students. We have to do a lot of reading as Mrs. Prashila mentioned. We have to do a lot of example. You have to find a lot of the example. From this year, last time also, they practiced that. They they are putting the plagiarism also the uh, into the taken place for the your papers. Then same content, same examples may not get the good marks for all of you. Say you have to find new example. You have to find new areas of the uh, subject part. So then you have to read. But recommended method is group studies. Group studies may will like probably will provide you to the different different skills and different different new areas to understand. So uh, my question to you is why Asia is so important? So now this we have uh, other regions. We have a European region. We have a African region, the African region also doing well. Why Afri uh, Asia is very much important? Why we should learn about Asia? When you take the Asia as a region, that is largest region in the population wise. We have a six, close to 60% market share in Asia. We have a huge population in India, 1.4 billion, China, 1.4 billion, Indonesia, 278 million, it's a multicultural country. So there are many things, very large markets available in Asia. So then all multinationals, everyone looking the Asian markets. So then when you talk about the India, the India's retail sector growth is huge. So why not we can get certain growth from the neighbors growth strategy. We are part of the neighbor's growth strategy. Why we can't do? So that kind of a practical aspect we should learn. And also millennials and millennials behavior, especially the large millennials population in India and largest middle income groups available in India. So large millennial groups because they because of their different taste palettes, different food consuming behavior, the touch hotels, they they build different and different kind of a restaurants and the ambience also different. So we must understand all these things when you are doing business. This is a very practical subject. So hence the Asia is important. One thing is market size. Another size is a certain special segments like middle income groups and the millennial millennials. Those are highest percentage in Asia is very lucrative markets. And another thing is economic growth rate. Even for a 2024, world economic growth is maintained, will maintain as around 3%. Sometimes it should be uh, reduced up to 2.78. But in Asia predicted 3.5 to 
focus on economic growth rate. For the last so many years, Asia maintained better economic growth rate than the world average economic growth rate, and they are better than the other regions in the world. So then all the investors, all the business organizations, they are looking Asia as a, their future destination. So when you take all the brands, you can see China, India, and Indonesia, they are, they are, they are looking very, very positive results from those markets. So other thing is SME. SME, Sri Lanka SME contribution is lower than the average SME contribution to the rest of the emerging markets. So, but I think Sri Lanka also will catch that numbers. So emerging markets like Philippines, Thailand, Indonesia, those Vietnam, those are the, these are maintaining very good growth rate for their economic growth rate. So then there's a potential for Sri Lankan organizations to start business with them. So best example, there are, we can evaluate the markets by doing different, different criteria. So one is the easy to do in business criteria is one of the theoretical nation, but in Sri Lankan business organization, Brown School, the chairman, Mr. Shah, he invested in Cambodia 20 years ago. So then no positive factor for the investor during that time. But he realized one thing, the micro business is doing really well in that kind of a emerging markets, that kind of a less developed markets. So he developed that business and later on, he sold out his business in recent time. It's a huge value. So that kind of uh, insights we must learn how to do the business we are not we should not i think into the within the certain framework in this subject end of this program you will come out as a different kind of a mindset different kind of a ability set to cater to your motherland so there are many things we can take why you should learn asia uh, so then Asia is a much complicated market. It's a cultural and social factors are very much different country to country. So when you're doing business, you cannot apply same same uh, strategy for the entry strategy for the all the markets in Asia. So your entry strategy based on depend on the countries different. It's a careful evaluation of the, all the countries. For example, Vietnam. Vietnam. The rural retail is very much bigger than the urban markets in Vietnam. The, the Vietnam population, everyone is very much eager to take the day-to-day -day needs from the closest closer. So then when you are doing business in Vietnam, in FMCG, you must have a very good distribution system to cater to those shops in Vietnam. So that kind of uh, learning you will get, it is very unique you will not be able to get from anywhere else. So I think you will have a good choice to to CPM as your future career progress. The Sri Lanka, we have 22 million. So you must focus on export or international marketing, especially we have a close markets in Asia. So we must focus on those markets to get our future growth. So that is my message as a lecturer. You will have a very interesting examples, interesting uh, life stories uh, in your sessions. So then we'll see you in 8th of March. 8th of March, we'll start the lecture. So thank you very much for providing me the kind of opportunity. All the very best to all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Rohan Somwan, sir, for that great introduction. For the program brief, warmly invite the senior executive at Slim Business School, Kitulwatta, Ms. Maheshi Iris. Oh, thank you very much, Dasun. Uh, first, let's, let me share my screen.
I hope I'm audible. Uh, Dasun, can you view my slides? Yes, you're audible and uh, the screen can be visible. Your slides okay. can be visible. Yes, go ahead. Okay, um, thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing, I warmly welcome you all for the Certified Professional Market Program in Take 1 2024. I'm Maheshi Piris, the Senior Executive and the Course Coordinator of CPM Colombo Branch. It's my responsibility to provide some insights about the course information to our students. Uh, let me start with the exemptions criteria. Applicants should have any of the mentioned qualifications to become eligible for the program. Uh, applicants should have a bachelor degree specially uh, specialized in marketing with five years of marketing experience. Uh, if not a master's degree with the relevant subjects completed uh, uh, passed with three years of marketing experience. Postgraduate, graduate or professional diploma in marketing with five years of marketing experience. Or a diploma in marketing with a minimum of completed five subjects, at least five years of marketing experience. These are the main exemption criteria uh, to enroll for this program. Uh, moving on to the syllabus, uh, overall syllabus has two main modules, basic and the compulsory modules. Uh, we are not conducting classes for basic modules. Compulsory modules, you have two subjects to complete, Asia Business and Asia Marketing Management. No exemptions will provide for compulsory modules. This is the program outline. Asia business, uh, actually you have seven topics to cover, starting from the overview of business in Asia region to internationalization of Asian companies. And Asia marketing management, you have six sub, uh, topics to complete, starting from the marketing transformation in Asian context to marketing management in digital era. Uh, here I have mentioned the registration process. Sl coaching fee will be 52,000 rupees. You have to pay it within two installments. In addition to that, you have to pay the MIS ex examination registration fee. It's US dollar 165. Uh, breakdown is the one time registration fee of $85. Examination fee per subject per candidate, it's $25. Marketing fee per subject per candidate is $15. And you have to pay the CPM status applying fee, it's $40, with the 3,500 slim payment. Here I have mentioned our resource panel, Mr. Rohan Somwansa, Head of Marketing and Corporate Communications at DSI Group. Mr. Prasanna Pereira, he's a senior marketing consultant. And Mr. Sitra Panaguda, he's the one who's conducting lectures for digital module. Uh, where he currently lives in Canada. Delivery method will be uh, mainly uh, on online as well as on site, online through Teams. And most of the classes are on weekend, Saturday, and you have to join few classes on weekdays as well, uh, all under English medium. And this is not like a traditional qualification. You can't only rely on recordings. You need to actively participate on lectures and can ask questions from the lecturers. There will be group activities and group presentations. You have to participate during the classroom sessions. Uh, here I have mentioned the class schedule. Classes will commence from 2nd March 2024, Saturday, an online session from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. onwards. Uh, this is the assessment criteria. You have two assignments. Asia Business essay questions. It's a closed book format. And Asia Marketing Management, it's a case study. It's also a closed book format. And mock exam also line up before the examination. And Mr. Rohan Somwansi will assist you regarding the mock, mock exam before the final examination. Uh, exam dates will be Asia Business. It will be on the 14 May 2024. Asia Marketing Management date will be on 16 May 2024. Uh, initially, after you complete your registration process, you will receive a LMS, Learning Management System Access, for all registered students. 
there you can download all the lecture materials, recordings and other details related to the subjects and all will be uploaded accordingly. You can download from the our system. And uh, to complete registration process after we you after we provide you the LMS access, you have to upload your one of your color photograph, copy of the NICs, copy of the educational qualifications and work experience data to complete the registration. And you have the you can um, you have the library access here. For any inquiries, you can contact Guyan North 70372657. It's open from Monday to Thursday from 9:30 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. and Saturdays and Sundays from 9:30 a.m. to 5:30 p.m. Uh, when we talk about the graduation, after you complete all assignments and applied for CPM status. You can attend the graduation ceremony. Certificate and other medals will be awarded to you during the graduation. Uh, for any inquiries, you can contact me. I'm Maheshi Peris. My number is 070-377-4587. Uh, thank you for participating for inauguration of CPM 1 2024, and I wish you all best for a fantastic future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you again, Ms. Maheshi Piris, for that program brief. Dear students, we hope all you have a plethora of ideas about the values and opportunities once you discern the qualification, the state, this certified professional marketer. Once again, Professor Devasiri Enjanta, Ms. Trishala Miriagalla, Ms. Maheshi Piris. Dear students, it's a great pleasure to join with slim cpm open day webinar have a good day thank you